Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter number 14, and we're going to look at verse number 4. Just one verse the Bible says, Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. What does that mean? Well, first of all, the crib is where the ox uh, sleeps. It's basically the stall you know, within the barn uh, where the ox you know, um, rests and sleeps you know, overnight and, and uh, sometimes you know, eat, sleep there. Uh, you know, and the, uh, taking care of an ox is not an easy task. It's very messy. It's very smelly. And uh, it's just, it's not pleasant. And this verse says that uh, where no oxen are, the crib is clean. So if you want a crib, and, and you know, I know today's vernacular crib means like where baby sleeps, uh, not what that means. Or sometimes even in slang terms, you know, hey, coming over to my crib. You know, I don't know why people use that word. It's kind of, so that's kind of weird. It's like your crib. What are you, a baby? You know, anyway, I digress. A crib, again, the stall where the oxen uh, typically sleep, all right? Uh, if you don't have any oxen, okay, you have no oxen to take care of, yeah, you're going to have clean stalls. And if, if that's what, you know, what impresses you and that's what you want, you know, nice, clean, empty stalls, no, 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 uh, uh, you know, feces, ox, ox, Droppings, you know, and uh, no, no mess, no smelly, foul odor. Um, sure, okay, but you're missing out. You're missing out a lot. Just look at the next part of the verse. So the first part says, "Where no oxen are, the crib is clean," but then it goes on to say, "But much increase is by the strength of the ox." You see. Farmers can't do what they do, at least back then. You know, they didn't have farm equipment. They didn't have me mechanical equipment and, uh, <clears throat> you know, tractors and things like that. Their, their muscle was the ox, the oxen. And the more oxen you had, the more you can do, the more you can labor, <clears throat> excuse me, out, out in the field. And so those who were willing to put up with the smell and the labor and, and the constant cleaning of the oxen, both cleaning the crib of the oxen, the stalls, you know, and, and, and scooping up all the poop, you know, and, and, and uh, bathing them and cleaning them, you know, the, the oxen themselves, you know, and, and all that. I mean, a lot of work. In exchange, they had a fruitful field because they had the oxen to help them to till the land and to farm the land. And so they had, you know, much abundance, much fruit, because that's where the increase is. It's, it's, it's by the hand of the oxen, the, the, the strength of the oxen. That's there to help. And let me tell you, in each and every one of our lives, we all have oxen in our lives that God has put in our lives, whether in the past or currently, you know, that you may be dealing with, where, yeah, you know what? It may not be the most pleasant thing, it smells, it stinks, it's a lot of work. But God is trying to give you the increase. See, I've, I've, heard, I've heard people complain about their past. Oh, if I could just go back in time and I would, I would change this, you know, and oh man, that was such a hard time in my life. And I said, why? Why would you change that? Yeah, it wasn't pleasant, but, 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 but that was the oxen in your life. And now because of that, you have the increase from the Lord. It has made you into who you are today. And I, I, it's the same thing I look back in my life. There's a lot of unpleasant things about my life when I look back. You know, and, and just, man, I can write a whole book about that. Yeah, my life is, is no, no, you know, bed of flowers. You know, definitely, and I don't think anybody's is. Life is tough. But you know, God has done so much for me and has given me so much increase using those things that were smelly and foul and difficult and, and labor-intensive, 
tiring, stressful, all of those things, the oxen in my lives. Man, I'm glad I didn't have a clean crib in my life because then I'd have no increase. I'd have, I'd have no increase from the Lord. So, you know, we ought to thank God for the oxen in our lives. Yeah, they may not smell the greatest. They may be a, a pain to take care of, but they are the key, the ticket to growing in the Lord, to getting the increase from God. So thank him for it and keep plowing away. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.